side, I saw so many trans people feeling safe, feeling powerful, um, and feeling beautiful. We were moved to the front of the parade, and I mean, that's the product of relationship building. That's the product of demonstrating our work. You know, trans is beautiful, and trans is leading the pride parade. What work still needs to be done, it's still a lot of, it's still relationship building, it's still taking each other seriously, it's still understanding each other, um, seeing each other, I think. And the Trans Alliance is, is very much doing the work of humanizing trans people to the rest of our LGBT family and to the, the rest of the city at large. And that work is important, um, that work of allies, that work of LGBT family. We need to see each other as humans and we need to understand that we can't understand each other, but we're all still very important, valuable, and beautiful people whose voices need to be heard. Um, what pride means to me is just being able to be visible, be ourselves, and being able to celebrate that fact. To describe the beauty I saw at Pride, I might have to make another language. Um, there were just so many people, some people like finding beauty in themselves for the very first time, some people being able to find beauty in themselves that they seldom get to do, celebrating the beauty within themselves and within each other that they see every single day or every single moment. And I think us being able to have access to that is so, so important because that's what keeps us alive, that's what keeps us motivated. I always love Pride Month, um, and it's 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 always going to be important to me. I remember as early as fifth grade uh, being bullied for looking different, um, presenting a little more ambiguous than most uh, girls, quote unquote, my age. You know, the, the older you get, you kind of become hardened to the bullying. And as long as there's not somebody who will stand up and say nobody deserves to be assaulted for who they are, we're still going to need pride. It's a really important thing to me. It's important for me to have this month, you know, for us to sort of share our narratives and, you know, assert why we need to fight for our rights still in 2017.